Set aside the 8 millimeter rings and all of the beads. We will be adding them in the next lecture. Just a note about the materials in this project. Stainless steel is a very dense metal and it can be more difficult to work with than other materials. However, it's a great medium for foot and ankle jewelry because it maintains its color and finish indefinitely. So here's what we know about the weave. The base of the beaded barefoot sandal is a simple one to one chain consisting of two types of segments, one six millimeter ring and two four millimeter rings. We will be weaving the following components. One 11 and a half inch anklet, which includes the lobster clasp, one three and a half inch connector chain, and a four inch toe loop. Except for the two that connect the lobster clasp and the two that will connect the anklet to the connector chain, we can close all the four millimeter rings. We can open all the six millimeter rings. So let's start speed weaving the anklet. Connect a four millimeter ring to the lobster clasp and close. Run another four millimeter ring through exactly the same path and close. Pick up two four millimeter rings with an open six millimeter ring. Before closing, run the open ring through the two most recently added rings and close. Repeat these steps until your chain is 11 and a half inches long. This will be a one to one chain with 84 segments. Moving on to the connector chain. Run a four millimeter ring through the 16th six millimeter ring, which will also be the 31st segment from the non-clasp end of the chain. Close the ring. Run another four millimeter ring through exactly the same path and close. Pick up two four millimeter rings with an open six millimeter ring. Before closing, run the open ring through the two most recently added rings, then close. Repeat these steps until your component is three and a half inches long. This will be a one to one chain with 25 segments. We will make the toe loop by using the speed weaving steps we used earlier in this lecture. This one to one chain will be four inches long and have 31 segments. The last segments on each end should be two four millimeter rings. On the connector chain, open the most recently added 6 millimeter ring. Place both of the rings from one end of the segment of the toe loop component on the open ring. Before closing, run the open ring through both of the rings in the other end segment. Making sure the toe loop is not twisted, close the open ring. You now have the base chain for the beaded barefoot sandal. Let's move right along to those beautiful blues. Go, go, go!